And this is a build that I'm doing for a uh, DJI S1000 and uh, today I'm using a uh, two radio scenario and uh, using light bridge. There's a light bridge air right there. And uh, I'm using an S-Bus decoder. So this way I can run the gimbal and the flight control through the light bridge. And the way that I do this is that I'm running a Y harness right here, the black, red, and white wire, the Y harness. So my connection is coming from the D-Bus out of the light bridge. Okay, and then I'm connecting one end of it to the Y harness. One of the connectors on the Y harness will go into, this is the S-Bus decoder right here, and I just plug it into the D-Bus S-Bus connector right there. Okay. The other end of the Y harness I'm running it over to an extension from the red, white, black cable into my uh, A2 and that will go into the X2 on the A2. And then I've taken the gimbal wiring right in there if you can see it. And then I've mapped it into the S-Bus decoder. This is the uh, wiring that I'm using. You can see that pretty good. So, there's my roll coming out of the uh, Zen Moose there, my GCU. And what I've done is I mapped it over to my channel 4 on my second radio. And I'll just let you take a look at that and see how I have it mapped. And then on the right hand side, my radio, these are the channels that I mapped it to in my second radio. Okay, here's the next step. I uh, fired up the, uh, the battery. Um, there's my gimbal, it's done its uh, positioning. And now uh, with the S bus, I'm running the Fataba 10J and uh, I'm going to run it through its left, right, up, and down. There you go. Yep. And right, down, and up. Roll. Good stuff. Okay, and then I have my, uh, on my radio, I have my FPV um, mapped here. I have my forward or down, whichever way it wants to default when um, you put it into its uh, FPV position. And then this is my aperture. So I've mapped this to my aperture. Um, and right now I need to remap it. I only have a two switch. But if um, I don't have this aperture, the way I have it mapped right this second, if I don't have this aperture facing this down position, um, I'm not getting any video out of the, uh, the camera. But strangely enough, when I have it mapped here, um, towards me with the switch, then I get my video. So uh, I have to play with that just a little bit. One of the things that I did do is my mode switch right here, my uh, channel 3 mode. I switched that down to channel 8. I didn't like the way that it worked. So coming out of the um, GCU, the mode, I now have uh, mapped over to channel 8. This is a uh, Verizon LG that I've got, the 10 inch there. Um, and I've uh, put light bridge on here. Wanted to try it out. One of the interesting things that I found out is I've plugged in the um, the USB cable, and uh, it'll default to a storage device, and then um, uh, it goes back to this home, and then I double tap on the light bridge, comes up, and then I have to walk through a series of uh, start the debugging. Once I got through that, then now I start the light bridge sits there for a second, then it turns itself off, and then I have to click it back on, and it starts to debugging. I don't know if you can see this up here. It starts to debugging, goes back to its main screen, and then I have to start light bridge again. So don't be surprised if you get something like this and you have to start light bridge twice. And there we go. Here's my video. A little bit of latency. Not too awfully bad, but still got the latency in there.